This is Alim from Javelin with the second video from the series dedicated to techniques for healing topological errors on imported geometry. This model has been posted on Soldiers forums by Mukesh Prasad. Thank you, Mukesh. As I showed you in the first video of the series, you can run the check tools for uh, getting a report of where errors are in, an, in the imported geometry. Since I have only one body, I'm just going to run directly, directly the check command. And it looks like there are a few pairs of faces that are inconsistent, meaning that the intersection between the faces um, is not topologically correct. And actually you can see here that this face and this face do not have really common edges. So if I'm uh, just hovering over this horizontal face, notice that it kind of pierces the blue face. And there are uh, a few pairs of uh, these faces like that. So let's see, this is one. Obviously this and this would make a pair. This and this, the one on the top, would make another pair. So they are going through each other. This small one also and this one are going through each other. And the same thing happens on the bottom. This just goes through through the other face. So since the check uh, tool is just for troubleshooting, let's run import diagnostics from for both troubleshooting and potentially healing this problem. So again, phase number one, phase number two is the one that goes through it. You can try to heal them one by one or attempt to heal all. Let's try attempt to heal all. And in this case, import diagnostics doesn't do anything. You can try deleting faces and after that maybe patching. So if I'm trying to delete this face, so that is gone. And now obviously I have a gap in there. If I try to patch that, it's not really going to work because as you can see there is another face that is creating a problem there. So I might need to, f to delete this face also in order to ask SolidWorks to patch this. And even that might not work because if you notice there are two areas that are have to be patched. So if I'm selecting this gap, there should be actually two gaps, but SOLIDWORKS recognizes this as one gap only. So trying to heal this gap will not work in this case, just because the topology is too complex for that. So allow, allow me to undo this to delete face command and let's try to attempt a manual um, a manual procedure for fixing this problem and looks to me that this uh, jog might be better off to be isolated from the rest so allow me to select all these faces I'm just going to try to select the faces that are connected to that and let's run directly the offset surface command with the offset zero so it's going to turn into copy surface I'm just going to add the other faces that are actually part of this jog and I'm going to also try to select the one on the bottom actually since we are concentrating on this jog might be a good idea to use the section view to remove the the bottom from uh, from here to make my life easier when I'm gonna select the rest so I'm just gonna go maybe that much as long as I can see this I'm I'm good so let's try again select and drag a tiny little amount right so what I have right now is a completely new set of faces grouped into a surface body allow me to hide it for a second because the next thing I want to do is actually delete the faces that got copied so again to save a bit of time I'm using select connected faces and select all the surrounded faces in regards to this one and I'm gonna use the delete delete face command just gonna select the other faces that are part of the jog and let's use the delete option so really there is no jog anymore there. That being said, this is also no longer a solid. Notice that uh, I have a gap in there. And I can come back to the full model without being sectioned. 
I'm going to show the other surface body so I can see both of them now. And uh, obviously there are areas where they intersect. Notice that this face and this face are kind of overlapping in that area. So it might be a good idea to run the trim command. So I'm going to use a mutual trimming and I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to keep this side of this one and this, wide, this side of this one. And uh, the result is one surface body, which I can try now to thicken by creating a solid from the enclosed volume. And now the part is actually healed. If I'm running the uh, check tool, so under evaluate, you have the check tool. Notice there are no, no problems. Obviously, I don't want to leave this uh, error in the tree. So I'm just going to save this out as a parasolid file. This will get rid of the features in the tree. So I'm going to call it repaired chassis. And I'm going to say uh, save all bodies. Let's close this file and let's open the parasolid file. Always run import diagnostics, even when you save out to parasolid and import back in SolidWorks because there might be sometimes error. There are no errors right now. And actually, I was able to import this as a um, SolidWorks solid body. Thank you.